Ever wondered how AI went from just guessing the next word in a sentence to having conversations that feel like you're talking to a real person? Stay tuned, because in this video we are diving into the incredible journey of GPT, generative pre-trained transformers and how it's transforming the future of technology. Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to take you through the fascinating evolution of GPT, the AI technology that's making headlines for its ability to generate human-like text. From its humble beginnings as a text prediction model to the sophisticated AI we interact with today, GPT has come a long way. How did we get here? Let's break it down. The story of GPT starts in 2018 when OpenAI introduced the very first version, GPT-1. It wasn't the AI powerhouse we know today, but it was revolutionary in its own right. GPT-1 was trained using a large amount of text data, books corpus to be exact, and its main task was simple. Predict the next word in a sentence. At its core, GPT-1 was about understanding context better than previous models, which relied on simpler techniques like bag of words. GPT-1 introduced the idea of transfer learning to the world of NLP, natural language processing, which means the model could take what it learned in one task and apply it to another. This was the foundation on which the future of AI was built. Fast forward to 2019 and GPT-2 hit the scene. This version was a massive leap forward, both in size and capability. GPT-2 had 1.5 billion parameters, which allowed it to understand and generate text with much more nuance and coherence. For comparison, GPT-1 only had 117 million parameters. This was the moment when people started to take notice. GPT-2 could not only complete sentences, but also generate entire paragraphs of text that were remarkably well formed. You could give it a prompt, and it would write stories, answer questions, or even simulate conversations. But it wasn't just about generating text, it was about generating meaningful text that seemed human. OpenAI initially held back from releasing GPT-2 because of concerns over its potential misuse, like generating fake news or misleading information. However, they eventually released it, and it quickly became one of the most talked about AI models in the tech world. Then, in 2020, GPT-3 arrived. And this is when things got truly exciting. GPT-3 had 175 billion parameters, a staggering number that pushed the boundaries of what AI could do. It wasn't just about generating sentences anymore. GPT-3 could simulate entire conversations, write essays, solve math problems, and even create code. The level of sophistication in GPT-3 made it feel almost alive. People began using GPT-3 for all sorts of applications, chatbots, customer service, creative writing, and even therapy. The more people interacted with it, the more its potential was revealed. GPT-3 showed that AI could not only process and generate language, but also understand the deeper meaning behind it. This is the version that truly introduced AI into mainstream conversations. Businesses began integrating GPT-3 into their systems, and developers started building applications powered by its capabilities. But how does GPT work under the hood? Let's take a moment to break that down. GPT is based on a transformer model, a type of deep learning architecture that excels at understanding the relationships between words in a sentence. It uses a technique called attention to focus on the most important parts of a sentence, allowing it to understand context much better than older models. Transformers don't just read text from left to right, they read it in a way that allows them to capture relationships between all words in a sentence. This means that GPT can generate coherent and contextually relevant text because it understands the structure and meaning of the sentence as a whole, not just piece by piece. Another key feature of GPT is its pre-training phase. Before it starts generating text for us, it's trained on vast amounts of data, millions of web pages, books and articles. This pre-training allows it to learn language patterns, grammar, facts and even some reasoning abilities. Once trained, GPT can be fine-tuned for specific tasks, like answering questions or creating personalized content. 
As impressive as GPT-3 is, it's not the end of the story. OpenAI has been working on future versions, enter GPT-4. This new iteration aims to be even more powerful, with even larger datasets and a better understanding of more complex tasks. GPT-4 focuses on improving the model's ability to follow instructions, reducing errors, and providing more accurate, nuanced responses. One of the key goals is also reducing the risk of harmful outputs, making AI safer for everyday use. It's still early days for GPT-4, but the potential applications are endless, from automating creative processes to assisting in complex decision-making tasks. While we don't have all the details yet, it's clear that GPT-4 will be another leap forward, continuing to push the boundaries of what AI can do. So, what's next for GPT and AI in general? The future is looking incredibly promising. We are likely to see more advanced models that can handle multimodal inputs, meaning they won't just work with text but also images, sounds and even videos. Imagine an AI that can look at a picture and write a story about it or hear a sound and generate the text to match. Another exciting avenue is the integration of GPT into daily life whether it's for personalized education, AI-driven assistance, or even creating new forms of entertainment. With each new iteration, GPT is getting closer to simulating truly intelligent, natural conversations. But with this progress comes responsibility. The ethical implications of advanced AI are being heavily debated, from concerns about job displacement to issues around AI-generated misinformation. Companies like OpenAI are working hard to ensure that these technologies are used responsibly, but the conversation is far from over. From the early days of simple text prediction to the advanced human-like conversations we see today, GPT has transformed the way we think about AI. And the best part? We are only just getting started. The future holds so much more for GPT and other AI technologies, and it's an exciting time to be part of this journey. So. What do you think? How will GPT continue to change our world? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into AI and technology. And hey, why not share this video with a friend who's just as curious about AI as you are? Thanks for watching.